right, guys, we are in HTML structures using list HTML basics too. So uh, just a reminder, I did already do this once before, but I'll be resetting the code and we can start from fresh. So in this case, let's get warmed up by adding a title and a head. So um, if you don't remember how to add title, it is title, title, and we'll say We'll just call it H, H, HTML basics two in the in the head uh, header header and then in the body uh, create a paragraph and this is my paragraph. Simple enough. All right. So, indentation is your friend. It's just uh, usually there's probably some uh, in the environment you're writing some sort of function you can write. Um, but uh, in this case, we uh. We'll have to be indenting on our own. Okay, so uh, on line 14, what happened here? On line 14, create a so there's line 13, ordered this. Line 14, create an H2 heading. And called list of things I find just okay. All right. And we have to close it. And starting on line 15. Create order list using the ol tag. So you see, ol is for ordered list. Then, of course, we need to end our ol. And we should list three items. So, three items I find just okay. Um, I find apples just okay. And we have to end that. And I find bananas, bananas. I kind of like bananas. Uh, find honeydew, just okay. I apologize if honeydew is one word. I'm not quite sure. And I find soda to just be okay. So, and remember what they said about indentation is our friend. Bam. So that should be what we're trying to do here. So there is our header and our ordered list. And you can see our list objects. Okay, in the body tag, create an h3 tag. So you can create a, excuse me, an h3 tag with the text most annoying TV celebrities. And the H3 tag. Make an ordered list, so and there's our OL. And here uh, we want a list of annoying, so we'll do carrot top. Uh, let's see. Um, Kim Kardashian. Again, I apologize if I'm not spelling this properly. And who else am I sick of hearing about? How about Paris Hilton? All right. Remember to close it. All right. Yeah. Then remember to close our 
ordered list. All right, and then we want to make an H2 tag here. And we want it to say top three things I can do for Mother's Day. Period. End the H3. Create another ordered list. And then create another list. Object one. So you see how it changed the one? It's because we didn't properly close it. Sorry, so Li uh, clean her house, close that list. Uh, Li walk her dog. Sorry if these are inspiring Mother's Day things. Think of them on the spot and do the dishes. All right, so three things I can do for Mother's Day. Cool. Let's see what's next. So we're gonna have to reset this. In your body tag, create an H1. All right. Tag and put some random thoughts inside of it. All right, so um, RPGs. All right, under your H1 tag, create a paragraph. Okay. It just, which describes the list you want to make. So it wants us to create an unordered list in our paragraph. Is that what it's asking us to do? Let's see here. Okay, so UL is how you use unordered lists. It works exactly the same conceptually as a regular list does, except it is listed by like bullet points and not numbers. So uh, we're going to be listing our favorite RPGs here. Uh, series one, so a little bit of fire. We got the standard Final Fantasy, we got the standard Breath of Fire, this is Shikoden. There's another great series, hopefully they will bring that one back. And let's see, what is the last great? Um, Mega Man Legends is kind of a... Uh, it's kind of amazing, so we'll put that in there, even though it's probably not technically an RPG or an action game. Okay, so in this case, it's saying uh, make sure you to type your paragraph of your uh, above your unordered list. Okay, so they wanted us to type something in here. It's a little mistake there. So uh, these are some great game RPG series. There we go. All right. So, now in this case, they want us to create another unordered list. So remember, UL slash UL. Uh, remember, we should have two items. So, item one, favorite boys' names. Okay. Item two, favorite girl, girl's names. Under each item that of the unordered list, create an ordered list. Okay, so this is going to show us how we can do what we want to do here. So we're going to create an OL here, and they want us to have three and three. So Let's go ahead and get started here. So first off on boys' names, we then we'll create boys' names. So we'll just say Dylan. I've always really liked the name Zach, so we'll go Zach.
And we will go. Let's go Matt for one of my friends. Alright, and favorite girl names. Don't forget to close your ordered list for each one of these. Open and close rather. Let's see. Oh I we'll go, we'll go uh try to be a little funny with baby's mama. Side chick. And of course the HBIC. Cool. The head bitch in charge, as they say. Alright, so now we're gonna be uh, looking to style in the font. So comments start and end with like this. This is an example of a comment. Make line one into a comment. That is a really pain in the ass way to make a comment. I'm like trying to think, how have I never used any comments in HTML? It's like, oh, well, it's because it's kind of a pain. But uh, yeah, so that's how you do comments. Okay, on line seven, make text size equal to 10 and make 20 and 40. All right, so here we're going to start altering the the font so you're gonna do P style um, font size colon and we want that to be 10 px so we can do it again right here so font dash size colon and we want this to be 20 px and then we're gonna do it one more time style we want this to be font Font size, and we're going to set this equal to 40 px, and you can see they're getting exponentially bigger. Cool, not not too uh, not too shabby. So next thing we're going to be doing is header style. So um, we can use it for more than just paragraphs. It's So let's see here. Um, in this case, we want to change the header coloring to green. So we are going to do head. Oh, excuse me. H1 style equals. And we'll do color green. So that changes it to green. And then it wants to change the first color of the paragraph. Violet, so as you can see, it's going to work the same way. So there's violet, it kind of looks pink on my screen, but whatever. And then we're going to change the style of the color and the font. So it's kind of the same thing, except we have a semicolon in between, so we have color to uh, red. So there's red. Semicolon. Um, then we want it to be font size. Font size 10 px. Okay, so for some reason I did not change it. Oh, well that's wrong right here. So we have font dash size. There we are. So let's see why it didn't change it. It's color green, color violet. Hmm. Oh, we're supposed to also change this to. 16, so let's go ahead and semicolon and we want to change uh, font dash size colon to 16. So there's that. I want to change the color of the first paragraph to violet, change the color of the second paragraph to red. And we did it the same way here. Huh. 
looks like your header's font size is 16.37 set up of 16px. Interesting. So let's go ahead and copy this. And when shit like this happens, you kind of sometimes it's good to refresh the page. But we are still getting an error. So let's see. So somehow it's interpreting our font size as 16.36 something or another instead of just 16px. So let's go ahead and see if that helps. It does not. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Q&A forum. Wow, there's 105 answers here. So we are on section 9. So section 9 of 16, HTML basics, font color. Alright, let's see if we can find something. Let's see, did we do this right? So there's our style. We have it equal to color.green, color.violet. Oh, we forgot sure equal to here. And we don't need that colon. So let's see if that fixes it. Hmm. So we fixed part of our code. All right, so we're going to copy this right here. And we're going to reset the code. And in the heading, we are going to redo that part manually again. So that h1 style is equal to color colon green semicolon. Then we're going to do font dash size is equal to 16px. Excuse me, colon 16px, and then for the rest of this. It looks like your font header size. Alright, so let's go ahead and copy this and see what it says in the QA forums. Huh, so this may just be uh I'm not quite sure what is going on. Maybe it's that let's see. Okay, so this, there we go. Um, okay, so we're going to hint here. 
what was happening is because I was zoomed in a little bit, it was changing the font size. So, uh, Control Zero or Command Zero, depending on if you're using a Mac or not, will be what you need to do for the future to, to take care of that. So, uh, a little bit of an odd thing, but uh, I guess that's just how it works. Okay, so we can also do this for lists. So we're going to say the list is equal to iron. It wants us to change the font size to 16px. And the font to Arial. So semicolon font dash family. Do Arial. So you can see our little change there. Change the font size to the second list item. Style is equal to. <coughs> uh, 12px. Font dash size 12px. And then we are going to change the font dash family. To uh, Verdana. No, it's a nice one. I've always liked the Verdana. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I may not be. And then finally, uh, we want to change the font dash size to 10px. And we want to change the font dash family to Impact. So you can see this is a little you know, slowly and slowly smaller and different. So, oh, and it's also saying to make sure that you capitalize it. It is case sensitive. Okay, so uh, we're doing the same thing 10.39, so we're going to have to hit command zero. Um, I personally don't have my glasses on right now, and I think for the example, it's uh, just better to uh, have it zoomed in a little bit, so we'll be hitting Control Zero quite a bit. Sorry, right, so this is asking us to change the size, the color, and the font family. So let's just do it in order font dash size, colon uh, 20px, semicolon, and then we'll do font or uh, color. And it wants this to be blue. Oh. So we don't forget the um, quotation, so color dash blue. And then finally font dash family. I don't even want to set that to Arial. And then we get a truly spectacular paragraph. So there is that. And let's see, do some more styling here. So now we can change the background color for body. So same thing with body style um, equals para or uh, parentheses. And we are going to do it by doing background dash, dash color. And we want to do it as brown. For some reason, that comes out as red on my computer, but whatever. And uh, for the body style, oh, change the background color of the body tag to brown. There we go. So you said, change the background color of the ordered list to yellow. So ordered list style equals background dash color, and we're going to do yellow. So you can see right here, everything in the ordered list, not one list item, is actually changed. It's not too bad. All right, so make the H3 heading aligned center. So uh, there's also a text align that we can use for styling. So we will do text dash align center. So now this is centered. And then make the first item in the list align. Sorry, so we're going to use first item style, set that equal to 
uh, I'm guessing it's just lists. So text dash align list or left rather. Um, so it's not going to change because it's already standardly aligned to the left. And then here we're going to do center. So we're going to do text dash align center. So you see it shifts to be lined up in the center with everything else. And then here we go, style equals text align. And this one is right, so this is going to go quite a bit over. And make sure you put the parentheses. And bam, there we go. So now we want to use the word sing on line 7. Or, excuse me, bold the word sing. So we saw a little bit of this earlier in some examples, so we're going to use the word strong. Um, I'm not sure if it wants us to get the question mark or not, but we're going to put an end to it like that. And then the word two. So I'm not quite sure why they whether it just didn't do bold. It would have made more sense to me, but maybe that's used for something else. So there is our bold, how to you bold things. All right, and then to italicize, you use em. So uh, that, and then slash em, bam. So that is italicized, and then so sum of em, slash em, bam. Pretty easy stuff. And now we are going to do it all. Um, oh, it's just a summary of what we've learned and just a reminder of what is going on here. So up next, we're going to be working with social networking profiles. So a uh, little, you can see we're throwing everything together slowly but surely. And you can see how, uh, you know, you can customize pretty much everything it looks like. So I'll see you guys next video for the social networking profile activity.